Hello everyone, this is Kenneth Brony from Cambrotech and welcome back to the channel. So in this series of videos, we are learning Bootstrap version 5. And in this particular video, we are going to look at list groups. So inside of the Bootstrap website, on components or inside of components, we can have list groups over here. And every bit of information concerning list group is stated over here. So it says list groups are flexible and powerful components for displaying a series of content. Modify and extend them to support your about any content within. So this is a typical example of a list group. And it's very simple. We just have a UL within its LI tags and we apply the list group bootstrap classes over here. Yeah, so this is going to be an example. And let's quickly move on to see how things will pan out if we decide to look at list groups. So just about here, I would want to have a container. Let me shrink this a little bit. So I'll do a class of container. And I would want to have a rule. And like we've been doing, we can do my-5 in order to bring those two classes over here. Now let's have a call dash and let's do md4. So within this, we are going to have the list group. So let me have, let's say an h4 and let me say list group. List group 1. So here I have list group one showing up over here. And all that I need is a UL tag or an unordered list. And inside of this, I need some list items. So let's say I have item one. And let me save. So as you can see, item one is showing up over here. Let me duplicate this a number of times. And I'm going to change this. So for now, I'm going to leave it like this. Now, in order to get a list group, I just need to come into the UL html elements and i just have to add the list group class over here so clearly you can see that some change is being affected over here but not as much as we would want we then need to come into the individual list items and come and add in the list dash group dash item and when i save this now you can see that item one is neatly styled over here so in order to get very quick i'm just going to delete this and now i'm going to duplicate this so i'll do a shift and the alt and the down arrow key a number of times i'll save this and this is the list group we can have so let's change this to two and let's change this to three we can have four and finally have five over here so i'll save it and this is our list group. Now there are extra classes we can add to this. So maybe the item one, as you have it over here, let me duplicate this. So I'll do a shift, alt, and a down arrow key. And let's say we have main items as the heading over here. Okay, so we have main items over here. You can add in an extra bootstrap class of active. So when you do active, now you can see that this is neatly styled with a primary color over here. So this is going to be the first example of a list group. All right. So let me just work on the other example. And with the other example to once again, let me do a class of container. To container. And I want to have a row. And I'll do an MY of five. Like this. And... I'll do an H4 and I'll say list group 2. So this is going to be the second example of the list group. And once again, we'll have our UL. And within our UL, we'll have a number of things over here. Now let me save this for now so that we have this showing up. So the list group 2. So over here, we don't have link tags or the anchor tags. In order for us to have links. So that when we click on this, maybe this is going to send us somewhere. Depending on our design. So let's say we have an anchor tag over here and I can say um, I can say computer engineering. I did an interface um, of this kind a couple of uh, months ago. But then let's do a shift alt and a down arrow key. And let's change this to biomedical. Let's change this to a Greek mechanical and sorry 
mechanical and let's do mining over here all right so these are the items we have in here now as you can see by default um, these anchor elements are inline elements so when i stretch it along it's just going to be inline elements and we would want to have it in a form of a list group like this over here so all that we need to do is to come in here and come and apply some bootstrap classes so over here what i can now do is i can bring in a class and i'll do list dash group dash item okay when i save it this is looking okay okay but first of all i need to come into the ul tag and do a list group over here so list dash group so when i save this yes now things are beginning to look better and let me quickly just go through this so let me just copy this class so i'll do a control c and add it on each and every one over here so on all the elements over here you can see that we are going to have these classes all right so this is how it is going to look like neatly styled over here and let me bring in another um, item over here so i'll do a shift alt and a down arrow key and change this to department so i'll change the first one to department i'll save this and as you can see you have department over here now let's add in the active class over here so i can do an active and as you can see this is neatly styled you can also do a text txt uppercase remember we looked at this when we were looking at the typography and all that so clearly and we can also do let's say a txt dash center any bootstrap class that makes sense is definitely going to apply over here now let's look at something interesting now when i open this up and stretch it you can see that this remember this was in a core md4 and that's why this is behaving this way but this is clearly taking up the whole space okay so if you don't specify anything it is just going to take up the whole space okay so we therefore need to come in here first of all we can actually do it this way we can come into the um the list the ul tag over here and apply some styling over here and let's say we can apply a width of let's say 18 pixels so when i apply a width of 18 pixels and let me open this up now this is going to take a width of 18 pixels so no matter how you stretch it it's just going to be 18 pixels okay let's do so let's do 100 pixels and see and 100 pixels is looking up this way let's do 300 pixels so let's do 400 pixels and as you can see 400 pixels is looking a little bit okay okay it's looking a little bit okay but in order to make this responsive because as you can see this is responsive but then this is not it is just 400 pixels no matter what screen size we are on and um, it can make our website look a little bit creepy if we decide to go this route so in order to get this working properly let me just take off the style class or the style property over here and inside of the rule let me just cut this so i'll highlight this and cut it i'll do a control x i cannot have the core dash md dash four and inside of this i'll have this and i'll finally would want to cut this and bring it somewhere here all right so when i save it now we have this neatly styled and when i open it up you can see that it is being responsive based on the screen size and not necessarily giving it a fixed width all right so this looks okay for our design so the next example i'm just going to copy this because it's almost going to be same we are just going to add just one class to it so i'll just save this and i'll change this to three and i'll save it and this is what i have over here 
So with this particular one, now look at this. Now when I hover around this, we are getting um, the color change to like a primary or something of that sort. Now we can actually add in an extra bootstrap class over here to get rid of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a list dash group dash item dash action. So now when I save this, now pay attention to what we have over here because this is actually the new class I just added is going to be on the computer engineering. Okay. So when I save it and come back here, now when I hover around this, we don't see this um, blue color of the text changing. Okay. So let me just copy all these list group action. Most of the time, you need to add this. And let me just add them over here. So I'll do a control V, control V, control V, and control V. Now when I save and come here, we can see that we have a hovering effect. Okay. This is quite different from what we have over here. And this looks perfect. So now let's look at other examples over here. And let me just copy this once again. No, let me just do a new one. So I'll do a container. And inside of the container, I'll do a row. Then I'll do an my-5. Then I'll have my core-md4. Then I'll have an H4. Let me see. I'll have list group example four. So with this fourth example, let me check. Yeah, I think so. With this fourth example, we can look at a number of things over here. So there's uh, what we call the flash or a list group with an extension of flash. And that's, I mean, very simple and straightforward. So let's have a UL and an LI and obviously let's have item one like we've had. Then let's apply the bootstrap classes over here. So you can do a list dash group. Then we can do a list dash group dash flash like this. Okay. Then all that we need to do is to apply a class of list dash group dash item over here. So when I save it, now we don't seem to have any change over here. Now when I do a shift alt and a down arrow key to duplicate this and save. Now this is what we have for the list dash flash. And this can come in very handy if we just want to have these lines under items over here. And that's exactly what we have over here. I think this is just about it. All right. This is that example we have over there. So let's look at other interesting examples. And this is going to be very interesting, I must admit. So let's look at the fifth example of the list group because we can add in a number of things. So let's do a class of container over here. Then let's do a row and I'll do an my-5. Then I'll do a call-md4. Then I'll have this example as list group um, example 5. So in this particular example, let's have, I mean, our usual suspect, let's have a UL and Let's use an anchor tag over here because we want to have some clickable links. So let's do a list dash group for the main class over here. And let's say we have item one showing up this way. All right. So let's start things up over here a little bit. So let's do a class of list dash group dash item. And when I save it, we have it this way. All right. And let's bring in the active class over here so that we get rid of this um, hovering effect. So let's do a list dash group dash item dash active. So when I save it and let me see list group item active. I don't know why this is showing up over here. Let's look at 
exactly what we did over here okay supposed to be action and not active i think yeah the active is going to make it um that's active class so it's supposed to be action all right so yeah this is what we have now let's also add in some few things over here let's say we want to have a badge okay so item one the number of items we have over here so now let's put this in a span tag and let's say we have 20. now when i save this we are just going to see 20 showing up this way but i can add in a number of bootstrap classes over here and even though we haven't spoken about this this is going to be in subsequent videos when you look at the utility classes uh, but then let me just show you some few things over here now we can have a badge a bootstrap class of badge and we can do a bg so we can give it a background of let's say primary and when i save this you see we have this badge showing up over here. we can further style it by doing a rounded dash pale i think i did an example of rounded dash pale in the other videos so now when we see you can see that this is a little bit rounded and i think that had to do with the when we're looking at yes this particular one this styling of the button okay so we can look at uh, styling things as buttons or as pills or as badges so this is what we have for this particular example now what i want to do is i want to float this to the very end over here okay because they kind of look stacked together now what i can do is i can come inside of the main class okay on the anchor element and come and add in a number of bootstrap classes so i can do a deflex and a deflex is basically going to do a display flex now when i save it we are not going to see too much of a change but i can do a justify dash content dash and this time around i'm going to say between now when i save this we see this floating over here now this is similar to what we did with um this call demarcation over here so remember when we we're looking at the grid layout we looked at this particular example and that's essentially what we are applying over here so as you can see this is looking okay but then we are not quite done yet because there's one more thing i would want to add and let me come down here and once again i'm using the pretty extension so that's why you have this being formatted for me nicely over here so over here there's one last thing i would want to add now pay attention to the batch pill over here okay now let's do align dash items dash and i'll do center and before i save pay attention over here now when i save you can see that this item has been aligned properly for us and that's essentially what we have or what we want to get for this particular interface or design so what i want to do is now i would want to copy this entire thing over here and i'll come down here and do a control v control v control v and control v now when i save this is going to be a neatly styled uh, list group with some kind of badges over here so this can be some kind of notification area where we have a number of items within um, our database or things of that sort and it looks pretty awesome looking at the different bootstrap classes and um, application of some of these things like i've always indicated we are going to look at several interfaces we can build using only bootstrap classes now you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambro tech and don't forget to hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you will be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who will find this content very useful at cambro tech we say learn programming you can do it and also don't forget to ask any question if you do have one and give a thumbs up thank you very much and bye bye